Hi there everybody, it's Housie from Slim and Stylish and I'm a UK Stamping Up independent demonstrator. And today I am blog hopping with the inspiring blog hop. However, in real life I'm actually at a wedding. So the inspiring theme for this month was weddings and I'm at a wedding today. Lovely coincidence. So this card will be given to the bride Charlie today. And I'm just going to quickly show you. It's using the Better Together stamp set. Now this is a one of two stamp sets. You get two for the price of one. So this is a two of two with all these lovely sentiments on it. I'm not going to be using that one. I'm using this one here that says here's to a great wedding and an even better life together. And then inside the card I have put this all the best for a future filled with love and the arrows and the hearts as well. So this is quite a cute idea that I found on Pinterest. It was actually a beach shirt um, and a body on this side and I've just changed it to a wedding card because I quite liked it um, and put it with a little bow tie. And then um, it's a threefold card, I'm just done like that. So I'll show you what I've got on my craft desk before we get started and then get into making it. So for the inside, I have got your usual layering pieces. So this is 10 and a half centimetres, which is three and seven eighths of an inch by five and a half inches, which is, where's my ruler? Can I tell you in centimetres? I can't remember that off the top of my head, 14 centimetres. And then what I've done is I've just gone in, half, sorry, I've gone in a full centimetre or a quarter of an inch. Okay, to get the layer. For the outside bit, I have got a panel that is seven centimetres or two and three quarters of an inch wide. And it is five and three quarters of an inch long, which is your A5 length. Or, if we're doing it in centimetres, just under 15 centimetres for that bit there. And for the base, which is the main bit, I've took a piece of A4 paper and I've just cut it so that it's A5 width. So that is the five and seven eighths of an inch across and it's 11 and three quarter inches wide. So you want to take a scoring tool. Oh, and I've got scraps of all the other the colours because you want to want to put a sentiment and everything on it. So I do have some, some scraps as well. So with your scoring tool, you want to take your Whisper White sheet of paper and you want to score it at 10 and a half centimetres. Just for the life of me, I can't remember where 10 and a half centimetres falls on here. It's four and one eighth. So you want to score at four and one eighth and then go again. So it's going to be eight and a quarter. That's all the scoring you need. You can put that away now, you won't need it again. But now you want to just fold the card up and burnish it. Like that. Now I have made this as a stencil. I will put it on my website, but I've literally just drawn where I want my dress to be. And I've already stuck it because I've only just made the other card with some snail on this side. So what I did is I put the snail on and I just put my fingers on it to make sure that it, it sticks but it doesn't stay stuck. Okay, and you want to stick it as a stencil along the part that folds all the way over. Let me show you what I mean. So you will have two bits on your card. This bit doesn't fold all the way, it only folds part, and this folds all the way over. That's where you're going to want to stick your stencil. And then with a pencil, just... Oh dear. Draw around there. Then you can take your stencil off. And that's your dress. So it's a slight bit of fussy cutting now. And 
the edge. What was interesting was the one that I saw on Pinterest, I followed it to the website and they said that they had actually used the inspiration from someone who had done a wedding card. So it all links back round, doesn't it, really? But there's the dress. Just rub my pencil marks out there. Okay, for the suit, you want your piece of paper and you also want a piece of scrap. It's not that one. I've got all these scraps on the side of my desk trying to remember what they are. This is four, in, four centimetres by four centimetres, which is one and a half inches by one and a half inches. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my ruler to mark in the bottom and the middle, which is there. And then I'm just going to do from that corner to there with my ruler. From there to that corner. So I can get a nice triangle like that. And then take your scissors and just snip it up there again. You could do this using your trimmer because there is a real handy way of using the lines on your trimmer to get really good diagonal marks but it's only a small piece of paper and it would just be so fiddly. So there we go and that will then just pop at the top of your card. Where's my one I've already done? Let me show you like that. Okay so what you want to do now is you want to take the base of your jacket and some fast fuse or Tombow if you've got it but as we're using card it does really need to be one of the two you could use um, tear and tape that would work I haven't got any so I'm not using it and then just stick the jacket a bit down onto here so you don't want to put it on the fold you just want to put it up to the fold there Okay, if you've got your trimmer handy, if not, you can use your snips again. You just want to trim that sort of half an inch off. I didn't do it before I scored the card or stuck it down because I wanted to make sure that it was in the 100% correct place and allow for any mistakes that I made, which is normally you know, quite often. Just do it a bit closer. Is that better? It's not better I'm gonna trim it that was a bad use of my trimmer wasn't it if in doubt do it by hand it is because where my tripod is above I cannot oh it did do it right <laughs> oh dear I've just made that messy from the inside bad me but my trimmer had did it right Without being able to look over the top where you're looking, it's it's a bit tricky to see for me back here. So once you've done that, you just need to take your triangle and work out where is the best place for it to fit. And it's going to be about there, I reckon. So I'm just going to stick some fuse onto the other side of that. Shut it and put that along the top there. You want it sort of part way between the end and between the dress. So you've got a, just a little. Oh, you can't really see that because I put the collar on it, but that's roughly how you want it. Okay. You then need. What I'm going to do now? I'm going to do the collar first. So you just need a tiny piece of scrap, really. And you want your ruler and your pencil again. And I'm just going to straighten that up so it's a bit easier to do. Where's my, my trimmer? I'm just going to do this off the camera because my trimmer fits in the bit under my desk that 
rolls out. So say you're getting it out again, I'll just straighten the edge of that up. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run it over the top, bot over the side, top, bottom side of where my collar should be. I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna work out what sort of angle I would like on my collar. And I'm just gonna draw that up. Okay, and it needs to go to about, yeah, to about there. So then, I'm going to be using my grid paper here. Hopefully I haven't gone off the screen. I'm going to, after an inch, oh, that's not very straight on that side either. Ignore that, let me just straighten this up completely around all the sides. That's where the problem is in just grabbing scrap paper. Because you can never guarantee it's straight on all of the sides. So, now it is straight on that side and that side. And we're going to do exactly the same again. I'm just going to rub that out and ignore that line. So doing exactly the same again, just pop it over there. Work out where you want the angle to be. Okay, and draw it up. Pop it on your grid paper. And now it will go totally straight. And I'm just going up there. The end of my line falls roughly on an inch, so I'm just going to draw that down and draw that across. Now I know that both of those triangles will be the same. If you can see what I've done there, actually with a pencil. But both of those triangles that I've drawn will be the same width and shape. So they'll do both sides of my collar. I'm just going to cut that up. They are both massively too big for what I want. But you can trim them down and I'll show you how to do that. one corner okay so now you want your dimensionals and I'm going to be using the mini dimensionals there they are okay so I'm just going to take a couple of those I'm just going to fill this area here and then round the side you sometimes get, you know, see these little bits just here? I don't know if you can see that right on the camera but you will when I, I cut it. It's sort of like half of the mini dimensionals you just want to stick that up there. start to fill it out so that when you stick the collar on that's too thick even the mini dimensional is too thick for where I've done it oh no it might not be I'm only saying that because I can't get it back up I'm just gonna pick it up and move it a bit closer so just take backings off. I find the backings a lot harder to get off on the mini dimensionals, do you? I do. I think it's because they're a bit fiddlier, if fiddly is a word. And then just run that up your card like that. And then go over to the other side and do exactly the same.
and then put that up there so it matches. Whether you can see that very well on the camera, I'm not, not really sure. Hopefully you can. I'll put a detailed picture on my blog of just that area so you can see that it, it does pop up. And then all you want to do is just follow the card along and cut out the bits that are hanging over. Okay, and if you've just got the tiny little bit at the end there, just pointing at the end just cut that off too okay fold your card over there is the start of your suit so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the pearls no I'll decorate with those at the end I know what I'm doing I do I'm now making a little bow tie so for my little bow tie there is no right or wrong way for this. I fiddled and fiddled and fiddled for ages with this. So you just need a strip of basic black and that is uh, two and a quarter inches by about a quarter of an inch but it doesn't really matter. Whatever size you want to do, get your bone folder and curl that and then I've got the one and a half inch circle punch and this is just a total guesstimate of where the middle of this is i don't really know if it's there or not looks it i don't know whether you can see it's just a slight bit that i've took off there and i'm going around and matching it up the other side and taking that slight bit off again going to the end and punching a slight bit off there and there and then again on this bit so fiddly this. I must have done about three attempts at this bow on the other card so if this doesn't work out I'll just go on to the next bit and pretend we did it but it is a very fiddly fiddly bow. Okay just put some fast fuse in the middle and then stick these down hopefully they stick so you can't see join it doesn't matter overly much if you can or if you can't because then what I did is I cut another piece of basic black but I cut it a lot thinner tiny bit of Tombow and just put that on the back there I mean it's ever so fiddly. Put it on and wrap it round. You get glue all over your hands doing this. I pre-warn you. It is messy. run some fast fuse on the back. I'm sorry if my head's in screen, I really am, but this is just a little, little tiny for me to be able to see what I'm doing. Just stick the bow tie on the top there. Just going to stick my scissors into the bow so that it just lifts up the top bit so that you can see. I'm just going to stick that bit down there that's sticking up with some of my fine tip glue pen. Which is always handy to have on the side because the little metal bit would just get into the tiniest of spaces. There we are. Okay, for the dress, I've used the Myths and Ma Magic Glimmer washi tape. I 
and run that across the side there. So I'll just stuck that under. And then I've also just run it across the top as well. just got these two bits of scrap which just layer quite nicely together but it will do if that black was straight I think I was just rushing to get all of this already prepped for you because I knew it was going to be a long tutorial to do this but I just rushed everything when I was cutting them and haven't got them all straight Here's to a great wedding and an even better life together. So I'm just going to use my Memento Black to ink that up, pop it on there. Mm -hmm. So I'll fuse to stick it down. why that's drying and I don't really want to play on the inside well I do want to play on the inside I'm going to do the inside but I'm not going to play on the card while that's drying I'm just going to stick the two layering pieces that we had together and there's two stamp sets or two stamp bits I'm using for this so the all the best part Ordinarily, I would stamp the white bit first, then if it goes wrong, you don't have to have a new piece of black as well, but I'm semi-confident. <laughs> I'm not, I shouldn't have said that because it will all go wrong now. And then the hearts and the arrows. Just at the bottom there. You can decorate it more. I chose not to purely because I felt that the front was so so much decorated it it looked quite nice as it was and I thought we'd make the inside a little bit a little bit plain just pop that in there now to decorate the outside and to make it look like a proper suit I used the pearls and the epoxy glitter dots that are from the occasions catalogue. These ones, these are from the annual catalogue. To work out where I was going to place them, I just put the sentiment on the front. So I fast fused half of this. And stuck it down about there. Grab my paper piercing tool, which is just there, and the epoxy dots, which are really nice and glittery. They've got ones that aren't, they've got clear ones and glitter ones, and these are the glitter ones to go with the glitter washi tape. I just used four of these and just spaced them a little bit like that and I use the smaller circles they've got teardrops in these or raindrops and then they've got bigger circles as well but those are the ones I used and then the pearl I used a medium sized pearl on the bow tie at the top and then just down here I put 
three pearls of the little size. So I started one at the top, directly under the collar. One directly against the sentiment. And then one in the middle. And there you go. Those are my wedding cards for today's blog hop. I hope you like them. If you wanted to, for ease of posting them, you can actually link them together so that they don't keep popping open. Um, I didn't. I like them like that. But it's really up to you. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for joining me. And the details are on my blog. And what I will do is I will... Um, do a sketch of this and put it in my blog so you can cut round it and I'll try and put it on either an A4 or A5 piece of paper so you can do it to scale and I'll let you know what I've done it on so pop over and get that. Thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoyed this project. See you soon. Bye!